and men tend to attend to the visual cues much more than women. So women in their mate selection, they have olfactory cues. So what does the guy sound like, his vocal qualities? Uh, uh, that's uh, auditory cues, uh, but olfactory cues, what does he smell like? And so women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. And, um, and so if the guy doesn't smell right, even if he embodies all the other qualities women want, that's a deal breaker. Uh, and, and so I encourage people just, you know, stop with the hundred texts back and forth or messaging and meet a person for a cup of coffee and interact. And then you'll, you know, you'll get a more accurate beat on the person. Um, and then also um, in short-term mating, women use that mate copying um, uh, heuristic. That is, uh, if there are thousands of other women who find them attractive, women find them attractive. And so that's why you have the groupie phenomenon. So, so with the rock stars, for example, there are thousands of screaming women, all of whom want to sleep with this um, famous rock star. And they use that as information. They find if you took like a still photo of some of these rock stars and asked women how attractive the guy is versus tell him he's a famous rock star and show the thousands of women screaming uh, at him, they, they judge him entirely differently in terms of his um, attractiveness. Uh, so, so or even, and this is, this is an important point that women's attraction to men is more context specific and varies more across contexts than men's attraction to women. And so I'll give you just an example of that. This is a, a female colleague of mine went to a conference, an academic conference, and she found the organizer of this conference to be really attractive and, and, and then saw him six months later and wondered, well, what was I thinking? He doesn't seem very attractive at all. And what it was is when he was the organizer, he was at the center of the attention structure. You know, he, he was the guy up on stage directing everybody and everyone was attending to him. And then when he was just a normal presenter at a conference, uh, he wasn't, didn't command the attention structure like he did in that when he was the organizer. And so this is just an illustration of how uh, circumstance dependent women's attra mate attraction is for guys. It depends on you know, his, his status, the number of uh, women that are attracted to him, uh, the attention structure, is he how, how he interacts with a puppy or, or a baby, if he's ignoring a baby in distress or positively interacting with a young child. Um, uh, all these things, whereas for men, it, it almost doesn't matter. You know, context is more irrelevant. They're honing in on the specific psychophysical cues that the woman is displaying and context be damned.